What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for me and let's get into it. All right. So we're over at the Hollywood Reporter and uh, at the box office, Mean Girls uh, hit 33.2 million. Number two movie in the country is The Beekeeper at 19 million. Uh, my wife and I, we went to uh, see The Beekeeper this weekend. And I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised by how strong that is i saw some reviews on the movie and it seemed like the critics did not enjoy it the same way the audience did i checked rotten tomatoes they had 93 percent audience score um it's the highest rated movie of jason statham's career um one thing i really liked about the movie it had all these different things, you know, had Felicia Rashad. Um, she was this elderly woman. Um, her, her, uh, son was a combat veteran. He, he died in combat. And then her daughter, um, you know, kind of checked on her every now and again, but by her own admission, wasn't very active in her life. And she, so she's out in the, she's out in this, on this farm out in the country by herself. And this scammer, calls you know these people from these call centers they called and they they uh did this scam on her and jason statham um you know ex beekeeper which uh, the beekeepers is this secret uh off book government group and he had retired and he had actually started actually raising bees and he had befriended felicia rashad's character uh these this phone call center with these scammers. They took advantage of her and things started to happen. And, and so he decided he was going to handle them after they, they, uh, they, uh, did what they did. Uh, I, you know, I watch a lot of times I watch those scam channels on YouTube. Those, uh, they, they do those, uh, they target those call centers that call all those, uh, elderly people and, you know, get their credit card information and stuff like that. Uh, Kit Boga and Scammer Payback uh, with uh, Pierogi. I watched both of those channels. And I know when I was doing my podcast, I talked about uh, uh, one of the reasons I really liked those channels was, you know, my mom, uh, when my mom was still alive, uh, sh she got targeted by a couple of those scammers. And if I hadn't been there one time, they would have gotten her for, you know, a couple thousand dollars, but she gave me the information. And when I realized what was going on, we called the bank and shut everything down. But, um, then another time they got her and I wasn't there and it's just, you know, somebody's elderly and stuff. You take advantage and do all this. So that's why I always watch those. If you ever watch a uh, kit Boga or, or uh, scammer payback on YouTube there, they are doing the Lord's work. So, uh, that that particular part of the beekeeper movie really struck a nerve with me. Um, there's a lot of faces in this movie that you would see. Um, one, you know, some of the action sequences. There was a guy in there, and I was like, I've seen this guy in pretty. He he always plays bad guys in all the movies. I thought I saw him in the Equalizer. He's been in John Wick. You know, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, he's been in John Wick. He's been in the Equalizer. This guy is pretty much been in, you know, of course, he, he, he that's how he makes his money. He gets beat up by by the hero. Uh, uh, Jason Statham looked incredible in this. Uh, what was it? We had Mini Driver, Jeremy Irons in there. Uh, Josh Hutcherson. Um, and I would already uh, mentioned Felicia Rashad. But Josh Hutcherson, um, I pretty much... He had been in the Hunger Games, but it seemed to me like he was playing a Logan Paul type. It looked like he was playing Logan Paul to me in this movie. Um, you know, the way he was dressed, the clothes he had, his hair was all frosted out and everything. It seemed like they were trying to give him. He was there was even a thing where he was talking to some people at a party and trying to get them to invest in crypto. And I was sitting there going, uh, and and of course, guess what? He was scamming. Uh, so I don't know if that's, uh, if that was intention, maybe it was, but it did, it did seem like they were trying to, uh, channel Logan Paul when, when Josh Hutcherson's character comes in. But, um, a, a lot of the negative reviews I, I read on this movie, they kept saying the same thing that, you know, this is like a John Wick ripoff and the whole deal. 
Well, if you're going to rip off something, rip off a great movie like John Wick, because I love John Wick and John Wick 2 and John Wick 3 and John Wick 4, and they're making a John Wick 5. <laughs> uh, you know, this this really has its place in in the same vein of the, uh, you know, because I've seen a lot of great action movies. I've seen some really cheesy, bad action movies. But like my favorite action movies are like uh, Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger and, you know, the Rambo movies with Sylvester Stallone. So, you know, obviously Jason Statham's done some really good uh, with the transporter movies and things like that. So I thought uh, he was uh, well, he did another one called The Mechanic. That was a I think it was a remake of a Charles Bronson movie, which was really good. Uh, you know, so I just enjoy Jason Statham. I hope we get uh, tr we get a beekeeper two, three, whatever, as long as he wants to keep making them. I really thought this was a good movie and uh, it had a you know, if you get a chance, uh, I highly recommend to go see it. Cause like I said, I didn't know if my wife was going to enjoy this. She really enjoyed it. We you know, I'm hell I might go see it again. But uh, that's it. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on threads. All at the Kari Press. KariPress.com will take you to my book, Brand Way of the Gun. It is the second chapter of the brand series. KariPress.com. And for all you couples, SouthernMuffin.com. We got Valentine's Day coming up. SouthernMuffin.com. Put a little spice in your love life there. SouthernMuffin.com. I'm out.